Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're staying close to home this week, searching for crappies. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! This is a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome? Holy moly! Oh my God! It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing! Who do you got? Oh my God! Yes, folks, today is April the 23rd, and boy, is it nice to have shorts on. I know, we've been waiting for this all year. Last week, 37 degrees, today yep. we got 75 degrees. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Love but it. no, this brings back memories for me, folks. Uh, when I was in high school, I used to have a nine and a half or seven route. I kept it in the trunk of my, uh, my car. Mm -hmm. And I used to come out here to these Waukesha County lakes and rent a boat and come crappie fishing in late April. And it was always a lot of fun. And, and crappie fishing is neat, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's so much fun, especially for all ages. And you were telling me on the way here that game fish are not open, but panfish are all year round. Yeah, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We got two of our buddies that are with us today. We, we got them last yeah, year. Kevin and Jeff, and and they're expert panfish anglers, and, and they like Oconomowoc Lake, Pine Lake. They like Okachi. We may fish a couple of those today, mm -hmm. but we're going to have fun. And, and panfish, you and I want to keep about eight or ten for dinner. Yes, that's my what I'm looking for. Fresh fish for dinner. Yes. Yeah. Hey, folks. So show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. Don't be afraid, this is your first time in three to four foot waves. In big water, you want the reliability that Johnson Pump delivers. For over 50 years, Johnson Pump has been a leader in marine pump technology. Today in Rockford, Illinois, they continue to be the choice. They have the largest capacity range in the industry, and the cartridge pumps can be replaced in seconds, even on the water. Now that's Johnson Pump dependability. Johnson Pump also makes the most advanced aeration systems to keep your bait and fish alive. Now that's a crappie. Our AquaJet washdown system has the strongest PSI available to keep your boat clean. Johnson Pump, reliability on board. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Rain Gear. Utilizing patented event technology, this advanced membrane allows body heat and vapors to escape while offering 100% waterproof protection. With an exceptional combination of waterproof and breathability ratings, Blackfish Rain Gear keeps you dry all day. Whether on the tournament trail or chasing weekend walleyes, choose Blackfish because you can't choose the weather. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. Purpose built for exploring tight technical terrain. And boasting next level versatility. No other side by side delivers this level of proven off road performance. The all new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Welcome back, folks. As I mentioned at the top of the program, we're crappie fishing in Waukesha County. And, and Kevin, you drive school bus out here. I know that. But I met you last year when we went on a special trip. You won an auction to fish with us, and we went to the UP and caught a bunch of walleyes, had right? Had a blast. Had a blast. And all you talked about was crappie fishing in Waukesha County in April. You do this a lot. I do it every April. I've lived here for 19 years, and it's one of my favorite things to do. And Jeff, you're a school teacher here yep. at where? St. Jerome. And how many years? 37. 37 years at the same yeah, school. Yeah. And, and he's your crappie idol? He is my crappie <laughs> god. Okay, well that's cool. But uh, what's interesting, Kevin, there's a lot of lakes out here in Waukesha County. They all hold crappies. And, and name a few that are good. Uh, you got Economowoc, probably over on Pewaukee, North Lake, Nababin, Nababin, Okachi. Okachi. They're all good. Everybody, yeah. And I noticed when we got in the boat today, you didn't bring any minnows. No minnows. 
I went through this Kaylin's crappie scrub and they can't they can't stay off of it. And what do you look for in terms of, of water? You're looking for weeds this time of year? Anywhere you can find some good patch of weeds that hopefully are turning green, getting greener as the water warms up is the best play. And probably six to eight foot of water is where you can really locate them and do well with it. Hey, look at this in the back of the boat, guys. And here he comes. Ooh, Ooh nice look at hey, boy. Blake, look hey, at that. Hey, I'm the crappie scrub. You know what's interesting though, Kevin, is just like you said before, just barely moving that jig. Yeah, because it's windy. It's yeah, and the actually the the waves give it a pretty yeah. good action. Ooh, back in the boat. All right, Blake. <laughs> Isn't this fun? It's so much fun. The sun's coming out, we're wearing shorts. Okay, now let's see what we got here. Oh, flip them up Ooh, there you go nice now we always got to talk about conservation when we're fishing for crappies mm -hmm. and the last two How the one is the limit well it's 25 a person but yeah. i would never keep that many if you and i want fresh fish tonight that's the perfect like nine ten inch of there to keep yep and we only need ten you know yeah. 10 is fine, but I mean, kind of stay out here and catch a bunch of them for fun, right? I don't ever want to leave. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> that's two in a row. We got a double header going back here. Okay, doubler. doubler, 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 doubler. And let's see who's as bigger though. I think oh, I got the, you got the bigger one. I got the bigger one. And you know, it's really interesting how these things eat these. I mean, uh, yeah, they you know, love them. Uh, using the minnows too is kind of a pain in the butt because all you got to do is take the hook out of these and, yep. and cast right back out again and not worry about bait. But again, Kevin, on the movement on these, Kevin, um, I'm just doing a little bit of a pull and stop, pull and stop. Is that the right way to do it? Yeah, I think what that does, it makes the little bait kind of pendulum swing just a little bit, makes it come back and entices them a little bit, and those little paddle tails on the end of it, they, they just can't say no to it. You know, the back of the boat is, Kevin, is the best place to be, because, you know, you got spot lock on the Minn Kota there, and what you're doing, I get to cast with the wind, it's pretty easy. There's a little guy. <laughs> you, you're liking this crappie fishing. Clearly they're in a big school. Yes, they are. And let's see, there's another eater size right there. Yummy. And I like to flay them and skin them and um, we'll have them tonight for and dinner. And we have our no carb uh, breading. Yeah, we could use that because we're trying to lose weight. <laughs> but yeah, those are, that's nice. Yay, the no bobber guy. New bobber, I had to no pick up the bobber. Oh, you did put, put a bobber on. The game. Ooh, there's the a nice one too. I'm catching littler ones though. How big have you caught them out here? You no, know, we catch them. I've had them up to 15 inches out here. Really? And you know, recently here we've had a couple that were over 14, quite a few between 13 and 14, but a lot, a lot, a lot of between 10 and 12 inches. Jeff, hey, Finally. hey, oh, well, boat. I got a, oh, let's see if he's got a keeper there or a oh, little one. No. Now there is a, no. hey, no. would somebody tell him that we're crappie fishing? <laughs> we're crappie fishing. We're crappie fishing. All your friends. That's a really go. nice fish there, Jeff. Jeff Arini. All right, and oh, Jeff. Oh, man, what's with what, the blue pills? What's the deal here, Look Jeff? that guy. <laughs> Jeff. I'm going to take a bite. I told you before, we're crappie I'm gonna fishing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's Woo. a nice one. That's an eater. You know what's interesting though, you know, the, <laughs> the one day when you, the warmer days are definitely better in the spring for crappies. I yeah. think as that water warms up that they get more more active. What is the water temperature? I didn't even look at 50 degrees, there 50 you degrees. Go. So the sun's coming out. But the uh, warmer the water, the more active the fish yeah. get. And, and that, the, you know, that's an eater. They're all in the weeds, right? Yep. Hey, look at old Jeff there in the front of the boat and he's got uh, a little guy. Hey, not too bad, Jeff. And guess what? I've got one on back here. And here, Jeff, I'll pass this up. Let's see who's is bigger, oh, Kevin. Way bigger. Well, what do you think there, Kevin? Who's is bigger? Oh, I think John won that round. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. You can't hold them close but to the camera. Tell the folks, this is literally one after another. It is, you know, and when you get on a good spot like this, they're stacked up in these weeds in six to eight foot of water, and you just catch them one after another. It's great to bring the kids out. Well, let's see. Oh, Kevin's got a. Let's see how big this one is. Let's see what this one does. Okay. Like John's on two. Oh, that's amazing though. This is so fast. Oh, oh. John tried to flip his in and it 
flipped off. Flipped off. Now that's the eater size right there. Yeah, these are perfect. These are such an easy fish to fillet. I do it a lot different than a lot of guys do. I mean, I just take my knife, cut in behind the gill, cut that slab of meat off, flip it over, cut that slab of meat off to the tail. I take my knife, dive in underneath the ribs, and just roll that meat off the back. Now, folks, we're fishing in about seven feet of water, and Kevin had my me set my bobber. What is that? About three, maybe three and a half feet from from the jig. And uh, what you want to do, I guess, Kevin, is have your bobber set so you're fishing over the tops of the weeds. Yeah, you want to keep it so that the the jig holds just above the weeds and just teases those fish to come up out of those weeds from underneath and and suck it in. And they're they're cooperating. Nothing better than sitting in the old chair, comfortable chair in the recon and and, and catching eater size crappies. Yeah, you yeah. kicked me out of the chair. Uh, come on up here. Out. What now? <laughs> you kicked me out of the chair. Well, I like my chair and I love catching crappies. Me and, too. You know? And uh, this is kind of starting the month when we get up into St. Germain in a couple mm -hmm. of weeks and fishing with Pete over in Hayward. We'll spend a little time doing this, but uh, Kevin, this is this is really fast fishing, buddy. Yeah, we've hit it right. The temperature in the water is getting good, and as the temperature increases, it's going to get even better in different areas. And of the it's lake. only ten o'clock. <laughs> oh man, I really should have the grandkids out here for this. Look oh, at this. Oh, Ooh, there. That is no. it. Now look Woo! at the size of that crappie. Now, Blake, come oh. on down here with me. Now this, wow. this is an example, folks, of one that you should let go. That's yeah, a big, that is... what is that, Kevin, about 12? Yeah, he's pushing 12. 12, yeah. yeah. That is a beauty. Beautiful fish, and boy, the, uh, those little scrubs, I can't tell you, folks, and you know, my, the ticket. my buddy Rob Mantha and I figured this out many years ago. Uh, that these plastics so outfish minnows. Yeah, you were telling me that on the way here because I was like, are we using minnows, crappie scrubs, and looks like the crappie scrubs are the way to go. Boy, that, you know what? Anywhere in the state, Kevin, that's a beautiful fish. Absolutely. Nice job. Yeah, that really is pretty. That's Yay. a good one there. Yeah. I got to take my sweatshirt off and I'm oh, wearing my... Oh, that's nice. <gasps> Holy cow. Oh, oh, no. no, that, no get him, get him, get him, get him, Blake. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, <laughs> that was a big one, Blake. That was a big fish. Well, there's always that one fish I miss. Can't catch them all. That was a nice one, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> we were fishing the lakes of Waukesha County, a one hour drive from Milwaukee, two hours from Chicago, and four and a half hours from Minneapolis. No matter what you're chasing on the ice this winter, Acme Tackle has you covered. From the innovative Hyperglide and Hyper Rattle series to legendary Castmaster, Rattle Master, and Sidewinder Spoons, or the all new professional grade tungsten series, Acme Tackle has what you need. Visit acmetackle.com to check out our full product assortment. Acme Tackle rattles louder, glides further, and glows brighter. Get hooked up with Acme Tackle. From lawn mowers to lawn games, Fleet Farm has what you need to get the best backyard on the block. Whether it's season it, smoke it, grill it season. Green thumb is an understatement season. Or even, this is the life season. There's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it. Because we have it all. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Hey folks, the opening day of fishing season up here in the Midwest is just around the corner. Here's a great idea to find some great spots to fish and some great tactics to fish with. Check out our Amsoil fishing report at amsoil.com MFR. This is a video report featuring the top guides in the Midwest and they will give you solid information about where to fish on opening day and what to use. Again, that's amsoil.com slash MFR. <laughs> Unbelievable. There we go. Ooh, that's a good There's one. a good one. That, 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 that one. That, now that's, that's a keeper there. That's an eater. Yeah, I like that as an eater. Yeah. There's nothing bigger than that, really. Oh, uh, look at that, Blake. That is a beauty. Are they typically in like the shallow water? Like what? 
Well, that's this time of year what they do is they move up into weed beds to get okay. ready to spawn. Now, if you take a look at the hummingbird right now, you can see that we're in about seven, eight feet of water and that there's weeds down there. And uh, we put them in Coda down and we have yeah. moved since. And, and Kevin, what you do before you start fishing is you'll actually just take the bow mount and move around, find the weed beds, try a spot and put it on spot lock. How important is that spot lock on that Minn Kota? The spot lock is a great tool. I mean, it, it holds you right where you are. It allows you to fish the jig instead of the boat and the jig fishing you. And it holds you right where you want to be. We've been here for over an hour maybe in the same spot and it doesn't move. And I used to hate dropping a big old anchor and bringing up all the weeds in the boat and all that stuff too. Well, it makes a mess and if you're, in the, if you're in your boat with your anchor and you want to move and you're not going to move far, it'll leave a big mud flat slick where you just left and, it's, and if you're moving with the wind, Oh, that's coming at you. So you are a spot lock fan. I'm a spot lock fan. I don't know. This, this is a crappie. He's big. No, I got myself a northern pike here, guys. <laughs> okay. I guess uh, so I don't lose my jig. If we can, we'll net him. And, uh, oh, good. He's hooked right on the side there. That's nice. And, of course, pay, uh, game fish season isn't open yet. But, you know, Kevin, I was asking you before, you have actually have muskies sometimes chase your crappies as they're coming oh, in. They'll do a little more than chase. It. They'll come up and T-bone it, and then you get to play with the muskie for a while. Yeah, and, hold them up that, you know, not a bad little pike. Not a bad little pike at all. But uh, that happens. I mean, these pike are in these weeds chasing everything that's in here too, yes, right? They, yes, they are. Woo! Hopefully this one is a little bigger. Oh, that, that oh that's, that's a nice eater right there. Is that, it actually there you an eater? Go. Yeah. <laughs> look at look at how they're look at how they're eating that bait though. Yeah, and you were talking about how you like this, how it falls in the water. Yeah, if you pull it, okay. and then the the jig will come up a little bit, and that those legs will fall like that. Oh. It's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's it's very very enticing, yeah. very enticing when you pull and let it drop. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, 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 we got a, we got a muskie after him. Do you really? Yeah, there he swam right underneath the boat after him. Okay, well, get your crappie. I want to, I don't, I want to eat the crappie. No, there but seriously, you can see that muskie yeah, coming. Yeah, muskie came zooming up after him, probably just in the upper 30s. Now I noticed too that you know we just moved about uh, 200 yards, and and that's just to see if you can find a different size school of fish. Yeah, we'll just move down a little bit and see if they'll, uh, if we can locate them that are any bigger. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Hey folks, stock up on Rapella lures. Right now, 25% off at Fleet Farm, starting at $3.74. All Rapala lures, 25% off. <laughs> there we go. Another eater size there, guys. Now this is the perfect situation, Blake, to, to bring our grandkids out and oh, enjoy this. They would know? all love it. Jack, Christina, Henry, they would love it. Yeah. And uh, it really is one after another. Yeah, it's perfect fast fishing. Mr. Bluegill, isn't that what we call him, Kevin? Yeah, Mr. Bluegill. Oh, he caught a crappie. Mr. Bluegill. How do you like your new nickname there? Love it. No, Just I, love it. So, so, Jeff, you've been teaching how many years now? 37. And you still enjoy it? Love it. And what do you teach? Physical education. Oh, you know what? Ryan, the photographer, could use some lessons on that. Ryan, well, I'll hook you up. Now, Kevin, we've literally been fishing about an hour and a half, and I don't know, how, how many you think we've caught? 50 between four of us? We've caught quite a few. 40, 50 of them. You know, and they're running a little bit smaller today, but they're biting. Ooh, I got some weeds with my crappie. Hey. So you just cast it right out where Kevin's. Where everyone was, yeah. Because I was kind of going through a little dry spell, not catching any. But, yep, I casted way out where they said the weed bed was, and I got myself a nice crappie. How fast things change. Now the front of the boat is kicking butt, you know? Yeah, we we, 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 we found a little weed bed out there. Ooh, that, there's you know, a us, nice one. Giving us a few fish. Yeah, let's show the folks that one. That's a good fish right there. They're nice and chunky. Yeah. They're and, pretty. And again, you know, when it, when it gets to be summer and they're out of the shallows, those deep weed edges, huh? Absolutely. We go out to the deep weed edges and I'll set the boat in 20, 22 foot of water and we'll throw up to those weed edges. And you just let that jig trickle down the side of those weed edges and you'll, you'll find the fish. Look at that guy up there, big Jefferini. 
Mr. B is the student's column, and he's got himself a nice crappie. Hey, Jeff, I got a, maybe I'll call you Mr. Crappie. What do you think? I love that. You don't like Mr. Bluegill? No. Okay. No more Bluegill. Oh, you, that, that's a nice one. Now, be careful when you bring them in. There, there you go. Hey, now, it's hard for you to hear, so you got to talk loud there, Blake. No, we were, we kind of had a little dry spell, and even though we were fishing for what, how many hours? Well, I mean, we've only been fishing. out here three yeah. hours. And, I know. You know uh, that one's going to eat good. Yeah, I can't wait for those tonight. Mr. Bluegill's getting red hot up there in the front, Kevin. What do you think? <laughs> I know. I'm letting him have that side of the boat. Ooh, another eater size. And you know what's interesting, you guys? You don't have to get up at the crack of dawn to do this. These fish literally bite all day, Kevin. Yeah, they will. Off and on, you'll have you know, different schools that come in throughout the day, and they'll come and go, and hopefully you're there when they're there. The sun's out, folks. It's got to be about, oh, I don't know, 70 degrees, and Johnsonville's are cooking and catching crappies. That's an eater right there. But uh, what is so important, Kevin, and that spot lock, as we mentioned earlier in the program, is key. If they stop biting, you really don't have to move car far, do you? You just want to move you know, another cast length away, so you just hit the, hit the button, turn the spot lock off, let her drift back a little ways. Get down to where you want to be with the wind and press the button again, and you're all locked down. What's the favorite sausage at St. Jerome's? Smoked cheddar sausage. Well, that's what I got for you today. Johnsonville has done a great job with these. They're called flame grilled cheddar sausage. Oh. Now, what they do is they do all the grilling for you there at the factory. So all you got to do is put them on the grill and warm them up. Or you can throw one in the microwave for 45 seconds, and it's just like having a grilled rod. It's I'll a do, great deal. I'll do that in my office. Okay, right? now, wait. I got to tell you, these are made with premium cuts of beautiful Johnsonville spice pork. Okay? Then they infuse them with Johnsonville cheddar cheese. They're really good. I, I can taste the cheddar in them and the smoke flavor is really good. What do you really think? Awesome. Too good to be legal. I don't ever know. Too good to be legal. Too good to be legal. <laughs> Johnsonville Flame Grilled Cheddar Smoked Sausage. Look for them at your favorite retailer today. Folks, these are some unbelievable deals you just got to check out. Right now, Recon has five pro staff boats for sale. The Recon is the best haul I've ever run. Here's the skinny. Very low hours, lifetime boat warranty, transferable engine warranty. The Recons also come with multiple helix locators, a 15 horsepower Evinrude kicker, a 12 foot talon, and a Minn Kota Altera with iPilot link. These recons are priced well below retail, and again, they're just lightly used. Financing and monthly payments are available. This is a great opportunity to get in the boat of your dreams and get $250 worth of recon gear with your purchase. Go to reconboats.com. Folks, when I head out to fish, I always stock up on my favorite Baitmate fish attractants. Dale, I just put that Baitmate on, man. Baitmate offers a complete line of fish attractants and convenient spray bottles for every angler and every species of fish. They've got your bait covered. I also have the newest Baitmate delivery system in my boat, Baitmate Ultra Live Game Fish Dip. Simply flip open the lid and dip your bait for even application every time, and it's ideal for frequent cast. I, I just dipped that in the bait mate, you know that? Improve your chances of catching fish with bait mate fish attractants. It just makes sense. They sleep over there. Head this way to the job site. And the big ones take their lunch break right about now. The Solix series with our most powerful innovations from Mega Imaging Plus to Cross Touch to Auto Chart Live on our largest screen ever. Fish might call it an invasion of privacy. You'll call it a busy day for your live well. Only from Hummingbird. Ooh, the fish has slowed down a little bit, folks, but uh, let's see what Kevin's got coming Stay in. Down. And a like pretty decent crappie. Oh, right. yeah, there we go. Woo. Threw him at the camera, made him look bigger. It is interesting, though, you know, when we first got out of the, here this morning, 
people, as you saw on TV, it was one after another. Now it's slowed down a little bit. Now, do you get another surge in the evening? Yeah, there will be another surge in the evening, as long as it don't start raining and storming on us. If it starts raining, we're going in. Yeah, well, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh Blakey. nice. I'm eating my own. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. That's one in the Whoa, frying pan. grab that one, Blake. I want to show the folks. That's actually on the, uh, the higher end. And uh, yeah, nice job. Uh, and that yeah. Well, we we've got our ten now. We're gonna throw these back, but yeah. that you get two real nice fillets off mm -hmm. of there, folks. And and uh, you know, I'm gonna pan fry them without any batter. That'll be Ooh, just a little yeah. salt and pepper. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at Mr. Bluegill go to town Mr. there. Bluegill. Is it a bluegill? Just, don't just eat your mama's bluegill. Oh, there's a Jim Dandy there, Mr. Bluegill. You know. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Bluegill, if you were going to put uh, Blake in one of your classes, what would you make her do? Like run around and whatnot? Uh, I'd have the other kids throw balls at her. Oh, that's, see, now that's the deal. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2019 Fishing Contest. Nick Redlin of Pulaski caught this 31-inch walleye on the Fox River on a jigging wrap. Jason Gerke of Delafield boated this 39-inch Chinook salmon on Lake Michigan on a flicker shad. David Paul of Baldwin caught this 65-inch sturgeon on the Menominee River on a jigging minnow. David Workley of Pewaukee caught this 44-inch flathead catfish on the Rock River on a jig and minnow. And this week's kids winners are Cooper Wiltz of Waukesha caught a 40-pound mahi-mahi in the Atlantic Ocean on live bait. And Braden Ruffalo of Pleasant Prairie caught this 15-inch crappie on Lake Russo on a tip-up. I go to Fleet Farm every week to find the hot new deals. Check out what I found this week. Angle Live Bait Cooler with Pump on sale for only $54.99. And save $50 on over 20 different Omen or Fate rods available for $49.99. Now those are some hot buys. Kevin! Yeah, we found one out the front of the boat. Nicely done, buddy. Putting on a little tussle. He's a decent crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a nice one right there. There we go. And there are some days when that's the average, huh? Oh, absolutely. And some days, well, you know, it just depends on the school, but that, this is the average size that we catch a lot. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get it set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. Hey, seven hours of fishing, Kevin. That was a great time. And uh, you figured the shallow bite will last another couple weeks on our lakes? Yeah, around the Waukesha area, the, the water temps are going to keep rising. The fish will keep moving up. Just keep finding those six to eight foot weed lines and weed edges in the bays, and you should have some success. And Mr. Bluegill, you did a great job <laughs> today, too, didn't you? It was fun. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm teasing you. No. Folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Can you?